Welcome back to Construction Simulator in Europe. We are doing the uh, hotel stage or campaign in the uh, Prestige campaign. Uh, things are going well. We've uh, done the big heavy lifting of uh, some big amounts of concrete and, and particularly dirt removal. Made ourselves a pretty penny, about two million bucks. And we're about to uh, kind of finish it off with another, I don't know, half million, seven fifty thousand dollars of work. Prefab walls is our big next thing. And then we're gonna uh, put them into place. Uh, there's 18, so I think it's gonna be four or five frames worth. Uh, the problem we've got right now is uh, we did a massive uh, dump of all the materials under the truck and uh, yeah, it's full. So uh, I think we're gonna have to resort to actually buying another trailer because we can't um, deliver to site the uh, uh, the prefab walls. We're gonna have to actually go pick them up. So trailer wise, I was just thinking about uh, particularly this one, which has um, edges on it, makes it kind of, uh, you know, contains the thing quite well. 60 grand, we can afford that. So I'm gonna purchase one of those. Uh, the question is, are we going to buy another tractor? Um, I'm kind of tempted. So JCB pack has come out. Um, they don't have any. Uh, so we can go Kenworth. It's kind of cool. I'm very uh, partial to this Mack truck. Or we could stay with the uh, European theme. We've already got this guy with the uh, crane on it. Uh, this guy, short wheelbase. You know, easy to turn corners, that could be interesting, or a long wheel base uh, with the extra heavy thing. Not really much difference between those. Um, I think we might as well go Mac, so, you know, we'll, we'll uh, mix it up. Um, have like some different style trucks. So let's uh, grab this guy, we'll uh, connect him up to this uh, trailer, then we'll. Uh, do some uh, some fast traveling to and fro. Quick little cheeky dock, and then we will go to the free. Now, where is the prefab wall place? Here it is. Uh, I haven't driven around this map yet, so uh, haven't really unlocked a lot of the question marks. So. Um, Based on my knowledge of what a US map looks like and what a building looks like, I think we have to park inside one of these bays. So we'll do that. Uh, normally I would just use the map to open, go in the front door, but uh, for this case I'll just do it once by walking around. Uh, I think that our money situations uh, kind of resolved itself because we uh, you know, made the two million bucks. All right, so we have 12 packages. All right, so four, four, and four. Okay, so that's, that's a lot. So uh, I'm just gonna buy them all since we have the money. And we'll load two of those. And I think that's gonna be four now, right? Yeah. So we've, uh, yeah, we've got two frames worth of stuff. Just going to quickly fast travel. I saw um, someone the other day, other day, uh, do something really interesting. I um, I tended to unpack them. So yeah, you change the frame from being one thing into four things. Um, what I, what they did is they actually. Uh, and packed it after they moved the frame closer. So rather than, than unpacking it here on the on the uh, on the on the truck, and then you pick them up from here, they picked up the entire set and just brought them into the middle. So you have less craning to do, which I thought was brilliant. So we'll just put these down here. I'm interested. How heavy is this? So. Right, no, it's not too heavy. So the crane can take up to a weight of B, and these are only A's. So not 
we're not very heavy. So we'll just, uh, actually I probably should have done them both first. Actually I should do both. Quickly grab the second one. This all looks like the, the double window type stuff, which I think is predominantly, uh, so it's one, one, two, three, over there, maybe four. Um, yeah, I, and there's some mixing here, so I'm just going to put it probably right here in the middle here. Just banging about where they're putting it way down on the left. All right, so then we have to go out there and turn the uh, the what, the packs into individuals. Let's get to uh, craning. So this is a window and a door. Oh, we get my angle right here. There's the crane. Uh, where is that? Not behind us. Two. Uh, that looks like behind us again. Actually, it's way over here. And we'll quickly do that one over there. Four down. Nice, quick progress. Isn't taking too long. I'm guessing because of all the concrete that we have, uh, we're going to have to. Uh, um, put a roof on this and concrete the whole thing, I'm guessing. So lots of concreting in our future. Yeah, all those singles hopefully will come in one frame, so we, it won't be five, five frames, it will be only four, which I think is what it said. Um, good example where multiplayer um, pays off, you get someone to do this while someone else is uh, going to pick up the next frames. All right, so I'm gonna jump out of here and return these frames so they're not in the way when we want to boom in the next set. So we can go back to the warehouse or to the shop. Bit of fast travel action. Get two more. One package, two packages. Sun is setting.
It's a beautiful map. It really is. You look out over the distance there. Alright, so this is mainly... It's on this thing. Lots of uh, big flat walls, which I think is all these solid pieces over here on the right. So we'll put this one down here somewhere. And then the other one we'll kind of put to the left, I think. Pack those. Hopefully, uh, I got the uh, combination right. This one looks like it's got a. Uh... Yeah, there's there's three solids on that one, and there's seven. But there's ten to go. That's weird. Oh. Let's uh, fix the time. Good reason not to uh, rent stuff, because every time you uh, go through a day, it's going to cost you money. So uh, I'm kind of glad that we're at the point where we can buy equipment rather than having to rent it. All right, so where is a door right behind us? Halfway there. I think these two are going to go on the left hand side, so it looks like we've uh, put the uh, frame in a pretty good spot. have gained a skill point because I remember being 11 um, I'm not sure if we sp it was 11 after we dug the hole I'm not, I can't remember if we uh... no we have that oh, actually we did uh, we put it on crane speed already that's right well that half all is all done so hopefully we can uh, make some progress over here as well Oh, these are half ones. Okay, I was misunderstanding what I was looking at then. So some quick, short ones. Yeah, there should be more of a uh, delineation on that rack that there's actually separate pieces there. Is it in that hole? So this one's a window, so this is like the back, back of the uh, building over there. This one going to be this is like front door, I think, or front window. Should be the other one. Yep. And we're about to get stage complete. I think the craning should be it. of the area. So 
that truck's just in the way. I'm going to uh, go over here and return these frames. It probably will do that automatically anyway, but we'll do it just for the fun of it. And then we'll jump in the truck. Pour the columns. Alright, so let's, uh, you know what? I am going to. What am I going to do? I'm going to fast travel this guy over to here. And kind of book into the future. I'm going to pick up the next phase. Uh, once we get more and more dollars, millions and millions of dollars, I'll um, probably uh, have two of these and we'll, we can uh, uh, fill both of them up. So we'll take all half of that stage. Getting the wrong keystrokes today. So this will be uh, in preparation for a future need. Actually, this can... Where are we? Uh, I might park this... down the road. We'll back it in where we need it. Alright, concrete pump. Hopefully... Uh, this may still be in the right place. Should be. Concrete. How to see what we're doing there? Uh, fill ourselves up. Start pouring. Man, these are tricky to line up. Three percent. Seventy five percent. Oh, this is so tricky. Ninety four and lucky last. Hundred percent. I'm just gonna get this out of the way. Am I hitting the crane? Bet I'm hitting the crane. Yeah, and that'll do. Uh, with the crane, we'll go up and over. Uh, 
Is that? Yeah, it is. I was gonna say, is that um, uh, elevator well something we have to go by, or does it already exist? And the answer is it already exists. Angle here. I'm guessing we're going to be doing this more than once. There we go. So now we need. All right, so this can be reset. Uh, you uh, move forward a bit because that closed the lid. All right, so let's uh, get. It's going to get this one thing here freed. I've got a feeling we might need those, need those red things very, very soon. We've got a lot of concreting in our future. Oops, that was, wasn't the one I was aiming for, but oh well. Two. Alright. I think this is the type of wood they want. Where's it need to go? No, that's wood beams. I think mean, this is more like planks. I'm gonna grab this, uh, concrete thing here it's kind of in the way of the in the way of the uh, concrete pump all right three more and they need to find wood beams which I think is those ones underneath and I think it might be these things over here so let's keep uncut let's keep on uh, uncovering stuff Concrete we can steal. Nothing on there, which isn't uh, not blocking, non-blocking. Yeah, this uh, this campaign has a lot of steps to it, concrete-wise and uh, digging. Last one. I grab the one right here at the back. Alright, do we get to unpack it or is it going to be automatic?
Ceiling element time. 26. So, so 25 minutes in. Um, this is going to have a lot of booming, so maybe 10, 15 minutes worth. Might uh, reset time in a sec. Lunch break for the guy, drink break for me. Yeah, lots of uh, different sizes with this lift. Yeah, I'm glad we've got those skill points to increase the uh, crane tracking speed. I wonder what an extreme mode would look like. I mean, we're doing a lot of steps here, but I notice it's like some of the internal walls just appeared as we passed through there. I mean, I suppose the extreme mode means we could have maybe had to crane in all these wood beams. If anybody uh, wants a billion dollar idea, someone should merge construction simulator and farming simulator and make it so that if you want a silo or something like that being built or even one of the buildings, the productions in farming simulator, like a, uh, you know, like a carpenter or something, uh, put the two of them together, make it so that you can drive around as a farmer and do all that stuff if you want, but also let you uh, build the buildings. And if you uh, buy it bulk um, straight away, like instantaneously, then it's just got a higher price um, and comparative to if you built it yourself and so you know make it whatever 100 percent more in cost and really what you're doing is you're trading time there's a lot of uh equipment like trucks and stuff that are all the same concept uh, i think I, I think it would be quite enjoyable i think it probably would pan out to be a very popular multiplayer game um i think but we understand there's a slightly different market for each and uh, merging the two markets for those two games would be uh, beneficial, you know, the cost, the development cost versus the, uh, the payout. But uh, yeah, it would be kind of cool to see that, you know, in a, in a big world, um, you could have people just working downtown like this, making, hotel, making hotels and stuff. Um, it gets really interesting when you consider logging. If you know you have the logging type people who cut down the trees, you take it to the sawmill, which was basically the construction people could build uh, as an option. The sawmill produces lumber, which is used by construction to build buildings. Um, the uh, the digging type people, uh, maybe farming sim could kind of expand to have more of a quarry aspect to it and then you can start, start talking about um, you know farming guys or kind of mining guys uh, delivering raw ore you know like gravel and stuff to a plant to then make cement and stuff uh, yeah I think there could be a very interesting crossover uh, there's definitely machines that are very similar in both worlds um, telehandlers and uh, yeah, just, just in general. I mean, the way that um, logging is done with an excavator with a particular head on it is not much different to an excavator with a with a bucket on it. Um, there's the ability for um, well, swung a bit wide. Uh, I mean, tractors have uh, buckets on the front to pick up grains and stuff. So uh, yeah, I think there's a bit of a crossover from a 3D asset point of view. The world itself is relative to the same resolution, 
so I think that makes sense. Roughly the same scale and um, AI traffic's the same, seasons could be the same. It's just the production cost, I think. Um, but very interesting. I think I think personally I would play it. I think I would I would do some farming one day, and other days I'd take contracts. Uh, particularly like if it's a seasonal base farming. I might take uh, some construction contracts in the slower months. How are we going for time? Yeah, it's slow going. Um, I think we're going to achieve 10 minutes for 20. I think it's going to be close to 15. I think hopefully this roof goes on fast enough we will uh, concrete it today and that will probably be the end of the episode. Uh, is this actually the stage? Let's have a look at the job. So the, yeah, just the concreting will finish the uh, finish this stage. And taking the uh, sim idea, you could argue that you could uh, also integrate things like uh, train simulator type ideas, where you're actually when you ship uh, train goods, you actually could ship it between cities um, and have a, a broader world map idea, and you actually have a train actually delivering them, with, you know, where the weight of the load, be it grain or whatever, or production materials, you could actually import production materials uh, between areas. Very risky, you get to the point where you're making World Simulator. I think with the uh, with a good common graphics engine and you've kind of defined uh, the look and feel of the world and the, the abilities from a from a uh, physics point of view. Then after that, it's a scripting. It's a continuous pile, isn't it? I think this one goes at the back where we were just before. We've got a lot at the back left that are going to take us a while to swing around and do. Uh, this is going to be a lot of concrete. Looks like we're making a bit of a uh, balcony atrium type deal here in the middle. So I expect we're going to have a second floor of uh, concrete which would make sense since we have a lot of uh, pieces still on the truck and on the ground. Uh, where do you go? That last one goes just next to where we were. Yeah, what gets really interesting is when you get to a point where you can simulate dirt movement. So you've got the like the mining simulator type people. If you can dig a hole anywhere, what does that mean to the scripting of the game? Um, having predefined plots is uh, solves a lot of the problems. Um, which I have no issue with. I think that's that's quite fun still. You could have, definitely have plots on uh, downtown where like a, like a hotel could be built for example but when it comes to like giving people the ability to say hey I want a silo here XYZ um, I suppose it just comes down to you define that a certain area must be available to be flattened I suppose that's what happens when you put down a, um, a production and farming sim it just flattens out that area 
So yeah, I think you could merge the, the construction sim and the farming sim worlds. That's a lot of concrete to do. And we're going to find out very soon how, how much there is. Well, that wasn't too bad. It's like maybe 15 minutes. So, uh, about 45 seconds each. Concrete time. Let's move this out of the way. Uh, do I want to move this forward? Well, we'll find out, I guess. I don't think I can get to that back left corner. We might do close first because it's always hard to um, get that head kind of lined up. Should I need? Do I need to? Uh, do I need to? Yeah, it doesn't seem to do anything. I was thinking about whether the. Uh, I needed to open the uh, that last part of the shoot up or not. I think I might focus on the left uh, on this right side first. And then we'll kind of work our way back and do the other side. I think I might do this side pretty accurately, that way if that top left corner can't be reached, we're still going to reach 100%. Having the uh, viscosity set high is quite helpful. And those skill points definitely pay out and make this a much faster thing to do. Twenty percent already. This won't be too bad at all, I think. Should be only about maybe five, ten minutes. to noon. Yeah, I like this um, concrete mixer. I, I tend to use uh, whatever the, the blue and red one was. Um, I've never, I haven't tried this one up until this uh, this came family campaign level, and uh, yeah, I think it, the booming is faster. Um, I think it's a little bit easier to get where you want it to be, apart from fighting their camera angles all the time. Yeah, I really like it. Uh, it's the Lieber uh, Schwab or something. Yeah, we may have to move the truck forward, hopefully. Oh, I got a bit more length out of it. 
das. Now, since I've extended, I might as well continue out far. Surprising this uh, concrete mix is lasting this long. Forty-five percent. Stretch. Oh, we made it all the way to the end. Oh, so that uh, on the ground there, you can see how far we we barely could stretch before. Oh, that works out really well. So now we can just refill the truck. Uh, now we can just uh, swing left and right. Eight percent storming past fifty percent. Long strokes. I'll go and fill that void in in a sec. Seventy one. Yeah, this has been pretty fast. My camera angles, come on. Nine, eighty, and another empty load. This should be the last one. Eighteen thousand dollars a go. So, what's that? Probably eighty, hundred thousand dollars worth of uh, concrete. It's probably realistic for this in real life. Probably is about that much. Wow. Uh, up around the staircase. I'm sure we're going to be running up and down that at some point. Ninety percent. This has gone pretty good. I do like this uh, concrete pump. It, uh, yeah, comparative to the other ones I've been using, I think it's really uh, agile and not. It's actually like easy to control, but um, not overly annoying though. Uh, its reach is fantastic. 100%. Uh, um, I think I can leave it there. Let me turn this off because it's noisy. Let's get... Um, our truck into place. It's at the end of the stage. Um, let's have a look. It was the end of the stage. So, prefab walls, elevator shaft, columns. Um, I am going to leave that until next time, but what we will do is we'll just move these uh, uh, frames 
onto the property. Uh, we'll have to run up the stairs. That's one, two frames. Whoops, it's me. All right, and we'll uh, do a fast travel pick up the uh, remaining ones for this stage and then we'll call it a day. Gonna be over here somewhere where we'll dump them so we'll go kind of deep into the deep into the property yeah uh, I can't remember what youtuber it was I think it might have been Brad M73 I saw them uh, crane these into the property and I don't know why I was doing it the hard way I was always putting them I was always craning them from the truck, which meant you had to just do way more uh, uh, booming. Um, so yeah, thanks for that tip. It never occurred to me to uh, bring these things closer to the job. Alright, uh, one's going to jump out. I have to find... Uh, an entrance. It's going to be a corridor here. Yep. I'm never a fan of the camera angles uh, up, up and down the staircase. Gonna um, grab the next set to finish off the day. Use the last couple of minutes before the hour to uh, grab the last ones. So if I had two trucks, I definitely would fill them up at this point. Uh, if, you, if I, you know, if you have unlimited money. Jumping across fast travel, and uh, I'll do what I did before and just park these. Uh, park this on the road. Ready for next time. It was kind of cool. I always like love looking at the crane and stuff. And uh, with that. Uh, we will call that a day for uh, stage F and summer G. Uh, as always, uh, like, subscribe, comment, all that stuff. Uh, it definitely helps the channel. Definitely trying to grow the channel in, at this point just to make sure there's more construction simulator content in the world. Uh, it's a great game and uh, I think uh, I really want to make sure that lots of uh, creators get to uh, produce this content so we can all enjoy it. So. Uh, yeah, definitely like and subscribe. Uh, until next time, uh, thanks for watching.